This right here is the defense map in Sprocket. We have tried this a few times and we've actually failed quite a few times as well. Today, I'm going to try and change that by building something a little bit uh, unordinary. Is that actually a word? I don't know if that's a word. Anyway, what we're going to do is we are going to build another static vehicle. But this time, it is going to be a very, very fast-firing, smallish gun that can hopefully decimate everything that comes at us. So, let's go ahead and do it, shall we? Okay, so let's go ahead and start by actually building this thing. We're going to go ahead and get rid of all of the tracks completely to begin with. Now, I did mess up slightly with this thing because I couldn't figure out how to quite get rid of them. Uh, but I was trying my best, but that, that doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, we, we, we spent quite a long time trying to do that, and then I give up. And then just decided, you know what, let's just go ahead and build the thing that we are going to build. So, essentially, what I'm trying to build here is a tripod auto cannon machine gun type thing that we can just sit in the field and have shoot at the enemies. Now, I did want this thing to look quite nice, but in the end, I mean, trying to make this look nice, there's no point. It looks okay. It works. And that's that's all that really matters. But yeah, here I am trying to figure out how big of a gun we actually need. I was thinking maybe like a 65 millimeter gun would be kind of cool. Uh, but then I was looking at the pen on that and it wasn't that great. So I upgraded uh, and I made it an 80 mil instead. And I think that was probably the right choice. I didn't want to go any bigger than that because I think that's a little bit too much. Um, but yeah, I don't think we did too bad with this. Um, I then give it some sort of like weird little hat <laughs> uh, and then we went ahead and moved on to the actual um, supports themselves. Now I did want these to actually be supported on the ground so that is what I'm doing right there and then at the back I do pretty much exactly the same thing. Now you will realize there's not really anywhere to store ammunition uh, and I realized that too very very soon. Um, so if you guys check right here I'm trying to fit the ammunition in not really working out that well for us. So I make it a little bit bigger, and then I'm like, oh, maybe I could actually put some ammunition on the side in some sort of like ammunition boxes, which is what these are. So I decided to actually put those in there like that. I then made them a little bit bigger, and I really thought these would actually fit, and we did end up actually fitting them in, which, you know what, worked really well. But then I was like, I don't know, that's not very many rounds, so let's create a big box at the back and shove like a million rounds in there. This is essentially our ammunition storage, and it did kind of work. Uh, after that, I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I actually had to make it move faster as well. That's it. And there it is. Okay, so we still have tracks down there. That is because I couldn't figure out how to actually get rid of them fully. There is definitely a way of doing it, but I can't remember. I Honestly, oh, I guess it's this and this. Yep, yeah, my bad. There we go. Now I've got rid of them. Uh, that is perfect. So that's all good. What I want to do from there as well is I'm actually going to get rid of all of the fuel. We'll have like one liter just so that it actually works. We'll bring this all down to zero. We'll actually bring this down to zero as well. And um, that is almost everything actually removed. Uh, and I think that's all we really needed to do. So now that we've done that, we weigh four tons. We have a... How good is this gun? How good is the gun? An 80 millimeter cannon uh, on the front of this thing. We have an ammo box at the back because we needed some extra ammo. And um, yeah, we're ready to go now. I, I hope this works. So let's spawn in and see what this thing can do. Oh, apparently tracks need at least one road wheel in order to work. Oh, that's weird. Okay, so uh, let's give it a tiny bit of length, uh, I guess. There we go. Go ahead and give it one one road wheel. There we go. There it is. Mm-hmm. Nice. Okay, cool. Uh, we'll bring that all the way backwards to there. We'll bring this all the way backwards to here. And there's our road wheel. Nice. Okay, spawn it in. There it is. Oh, yeah, we're ready. We are so ready. Okay, so there are 14 enemies versus... 17 of us as long as we get the first shot off We'll be okay. Also side note. I've made it quite tall just so that we can actually shoot properly as well So as soon as we see an enemy Hopefully they die. I've not actually tried anything like this before in this game, but I think this is it Also, how much ammunition do we have 11 12 plus 66? So we've actually got 12 and 12. That's 24 plus uh, 66 that is 70 80, 90, 90. Is that 90? I don't know. Maths. Maths is hard, okay? Right, hang on. Why is there no enemies here yet? Where are they? 
Oh, someone's shooting. Oh, never mind. It's already killed it. It's already killed the thing that was coming over the hill. Oh, there's another one coming. Oh, it's already dead. Oh, would you look at that? <laughs> Is there any more? Any more enemies? Oh, another one's dead. Another one's dead. Okay. Oh, they've killed one of my tripods. They're all... I, I, I haven't seen an enemy yet. Let's change. See if we can see any from here. Uh, No, they're all dead up there. That one's dead right there. They're all dead. They're all dead literally everywhere. There's nothing I can do. We are too powerful. Oh, there's one. Hey! Oh, he's already dead. It's dead before I could even shoot. Yikes. Okay, well, that's bad. Also, this is a machine gun, if you're ready. Three, two, one. I say machine gun. It's an auto cannon, but still. Pretty cool. Right, there are two enemies remaining. I don't know where they are. Uh, hopefully they're not passing us by on either of the sides. I don't think they will be. But, um, yeah. We, is that guy dead? That guy's already dead, right? That's the one that we've seen earlier. Yeah, he's already dead. Can we set it on fire? I want to try and set it on fire. Hey, there we go. Nice. Okay, cool. Since we've got nothing better to do, I guess we will just set them on fire. Cool. Okay, well, there's literally nothing I can do, so let's go ahead and spawn in a custom mission, and uh, we'll try and verse that instead. Here we go, it is now 16 versus 12. Essentially what we've done here is, uh, we've spawned in a bunch of Panthers and a bunch of Puma 2s versus our machine gun. I, I, I guess this isn't actually a machine gun, but still, uh, we're against this. So, um, yeah, I think we actually stand a chance this time. I mean, we did last time, we totally won last time, but we're gonna try again. I think I can hear some rounds going off on the other side. One of the Panthers is dead. One of my machine guns has just killed one of my machine guns. That is uh, not really what you look for in your teammates, to be honest. You don't look for them to destroy each other. Um, but yeah. Oh, that guy's already dead. Okay. Oh, we got tanks on the right. These are the ones we do actually have to destroy. Otherwise, they will win the game. Oh. Oh. Although, this thing can, like, fully automatic fire. Um, it's best not to, actually. <laughs> It's actually, you'll do a lot better of a job if you do it slowly, but that's okay. All right, good. So we killed everything on this side, I think. Let's go ahead and head over to the other side and see if we can see anything over here. What are these guys? Uh-oh. Are they all alive? Is that guy alive? I've tracked him, so even if he is alive, he's not moving. These two are alive and they're doing work. We need to kill- oh, that guy's dead. And... That guy's dead? Hey, there we go. And now there's two remaining. I just don't know where they are. That's so annoying. This happened last time. There was two remaining last time. And they didn't ever appear. So, I, there's not much I could do. I can't move. So, yeah. Okay, so, what if it could actually move? Like, I, I know that's a strange thing. I know that's a very strange thing. But what if it could actually move? So, uh, let's go to layout. Let's go ahead and separate these guys. Send them out forwards a little bit. Nice, yes. Uh, go ahead and raise this into the sky. Raise this up into the sky. And we've got some tracks. That is lovely, I suppose. Uh, we now need to add extra things. So, the actual road wheels need a little bit of diameter. There we go. We're going to go with these. There we go. Oh, even if it's only a tiny bit, that's good. Uh, we're then going to give this a little bit of a diameter too. There we go, so it actually works. And the sprocket as well also needs a bit of a diameter. Way there we go. Okay, so now we need a transmission that actually works. Let's go ahead and send this up to like two. Do that. There we go. Two. Do that. There we go. Awesome. Our top speed is very slow, but that's because we have a tiny engine. Medium engine is a V8. Okay, uh, that's it. Will it move? We don't have a driver. That's that's a thing, actually. We need a driver. Where's the driver going to drive from? I don't know. Probably at the back. Here we go. Driver's just going to sit um, back there. Bam. Drive. Oh! Yes! Oh, this thing's insane! Woohoo! Okay. Yeah. No, this is what you want. <laughs> this is definitely what you want in wartime. You want a drivable tri tri, tri what's it even called? 
What are they? A tripod. That's what it's called. A tripod machine gun 80 millimeter gun. That's exactly what you need. Okay, here we go. So we're on the defense map again, as you guys can see. Let's go ahead and send ourselves in there. And uh, this time, uh, you know, if there's two hiding at the back, we can just go ahead and annihilate them because that is what we're going to do. Okay, that's our job. That's our mission. There's nothing going to stop us except for if we get shot. Of course, if we do get shot, we die. But, you know, just ignore that and continue. So let's send it. Here we go. I can see the enemies right in front of us. We're going to win this. There's no way we don't. All right, this might be a bad idea. Actually, sending it all the way forwards might have been a really bad plan. But let's see. If he shoots me first, I'm dead. Uh, oh, no. I don't know if I can actually get through his armor from this side anyway. So let's drive into a bit of a dip. A bit of a defilade. There are tanks driving past me because they don't think I'm a threat. But I am. Yeah! Oh, I can't aim down. Hey, there we go. Nice. All right, let's zoom over this way. Shoot this guy. Yes. Okay, nice. And let's get down the side of this guy and hopefully annihilate him. He doesn't seem to want to shoot me, though. Not yet, anyway. He hasn't even tried to turn. All right, I've managed to track him, but that has made him turn. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's get up alongside. I've run out of fuel. <laughs> I've run out of fuel just as I got here. But I have taken out both King Tigers from right here. That is um, excellent. All right, luckily these guys can move. So the ones that we haven't actually found, it's two again. There are two of them again. I don't know where they are. I really don't know where, the why, where, where are they? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Uh oh, it looks like I found one. Oh, I found both of them. Nice, okay, cool. So take out the King Tiger first, if I can. Uh, I might have tracked it. I'm not sure what's going on here. The guy behind me is going to kill me if I'm not quick enough. All right, we got him. Nice. Okay. Oh, he didn't even try and kill me. It's like being in a go-kart, this thing. All right, we've run out of fuel again, but he's already dead. There we go. All right, cool. Uh, the tripod system, it works. I'm happy with it. I am, uh, I'm actually very happy with it. There's the tank in the background that we have decimated, uh, and we did a good job. We definitely did a good job. Anyway, uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments down below. And uh, I might make more, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, for now, thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.